hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lillian lillian from kenya to montana usa uh thank you so much for supporting me here on youtube and following me on facebook my facebook name is lillian from kenya to montana usa my facebook name is lillian from kenya to montana usa so guys continue subs subscribing for those who are new here and continue liking all of you please continue liking Continue leaving our comments, come for chats on that on Facebook Messenger, and I appreciate all of you. And today, guys, I want us to I want us to talk about uh, why should uh, you should come to this place. I'm going to talk about nurses today. I want to encourage you, all of you, to come to this place. I want to give you my reasons why I think. You should come here. First of all, I'm going to go through the challenges. And if you know any other challenges, please come down there on the comment section and put all the challenges that we face in our countries, especially in Africa. If I can talk of Kenya, the challenges we face as nurses in Kenya or nurses in Africa. The first challenge is uh, low pay. In our country, we work so much and we are paid less. So, like, the private sector, even the government, we are being paid very little amount of money. We are paid less for what we work for. So, or, or some counties, especially the government counties and some of the small private hospitals, you can go for months, you can go for even three months without any pay. So you see, this is the biggest challenge because uh, you need to live, you need to pay your bills, you need to eat. It's a big challenge that you um, that is uh, adding up to the reason why you should migrate to this, this place. We also have poor working conditions. Um, in our hospitals, we don't have the required equipment like for lifting patients. You find that you have to lift using your own hands, using your own body to lift a patient. Um, this is very unfortunate for our countries. And it's very unfortunate to the nurse because you are the one who is going to reposition this patient. You are the one going to get the patient from the bed to the chair, from the chair to the bed. Using, you know, I, I normally remember how, how is it like possible that we used our body to lift patients from the from a chair to to the bed. Uh, it's actually very wrong. It's wrong in all in all ways like that is a wrong working condition you know we also have poor treatment like uh, if you are unfortunate uh, and your boss doesn't like you for any other reason you get so poor treatment you are the one who will be working on weekends you are the one who will be working on holidays you are the one who if there is any extension you have any meeting they'll make sure you are on duty on that day so that you can extend just poor treatment you get uh, your bosses don't like you you just find the the condition is not favorable for you for any human being to work in these conditions have i've experienced them in uh in my country in my the hospitals i worked in so and i know um the i know you are not supposed to to undergo all this so for better payment for better working condition for better just natural treat, treatment like come to this place the nurses especially i'm talking to those nurses who are our young sisters our young brothers who are still in school who've just graduated please um consider coming to this place consider starting the process and it doesn't matter how old you are even if you are 60 years old people are working here 60 year old they are still on working please consider starting the process and in due time you'll be here two years is not a is not a, um, a long time that you feel um, you can't do it it goes very fast and with no time you find yourself in the united states in the uk in australia in canada wherever you want to go please 
just start the process and go okay let's see the requirement of especially coming to the us this is where i am and i'll talk of the requirements that you need to have for you to start the process of coming to this place the first thing you should be a registered nurse in your country if you are from kenya you must be a registered nurse and um, you've done the nursing council of kenya uh, exam the licensing exam and you have your license you have the nursing council number so that's the first requirement the second requirement is you are from an accredited school you you are in a college or an university that is known by your your nursing council that is accredited so uh, and most of the schools are accredited because you do the nursing exam ex nursing council exam in your country i'll be talking more of kenya because that's what i know so whether you are from a college or a university that is a diploma or a degree for an us any diploma that is a diploma in um kra or krchn you 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 are allowed to come to this place you are uh, you have a license by the you are licensed by the nursing council of kenya so whichever diploma you have in nursing you have that chance to be recruited by the hospitals here to be recruited by the agencies if you want to go with the agencies we'll talk about that later so uh, make sure you you went to an accredited school you see the college that we will go to the three year old the three year duration or three and a half for krchn is um, equivalent to associate degree here in america so associate degree goes for two years and diploma in kenya goes for three and a half or three three years those are equals the the diploma in kenya is equals to the associate degree here if you do you just go for degree in kenya that's bsn there is also bsn here degree which is around three four years so you are good to go another thing is you should have graduated in nursing school of course you need to graduate from where you used to yeah you used to learn from the other thing is you should have a license of course you should yeah i know some people are working without a license updated license updated nursing council license you should be up to date um you should be working in a certain hospital the hospital should have like um they want beds 80 to 100 like more than 100 beds so if you are working in hospitals without um that requirement like 100 bed capacity or 80 bed capacity please um start looking for this hospital apply all over apply to these uh, private hospitals and go to work there you will be you'll get a job in those hospitals don't worry about the treatment you get there years if you are from maybe you are working in a clinic or somewhere you're going to have uh, that experience or where you want you you are always working in a rush you're running around you're being mm, mouthful but that is the requirement you need to so you go sacrifice yourself go to those hospitals apply to these private hospitals apply to those county hospitals i know it's hard to get a public hospital so the easiest way is go to private hospitals okay um there is also uh yeah the hospital need to have a capacity of a hundred beds and over so these are tertiary hospitals uh, the referral hospitals county hospitals mm, you need to be working there those are the requirements for you to apply uh, to agencies or to start the process of migrating to this place as a nurse. The other question you need to ask yourself, uh, you need to decide where you want to work. America, I'm talking about America, has 50 states. So you need to decide which state do you want to work to, to work from, to work which state do you want to go to so you can work in that state we have 50 states in america some people ask me is a montana a state in america 
is do you know the 50 states in america when you go to the map do you see the 50 states in america america is not is not just texas texas is part of one of the 50 states in america okay uh south the other one is south carolina is not the only states in america we have 50 states in america make sure you see all those states know about them as a nurse you need to go to that state that you choose maybe you want to go to texas states you go to the nursing um the nursing board of that state on their web find the requirements uh, needed for a foreign trained nurse uh, you find out the requirements needed for you as a foreigner for a foreign trained nurse and some states don't need to have the english exam the IELTS. some states is a must to have most of the states you must have the english exam results the IELTS. some states you don't need to so you need to go to those uh, websites whichever state you are choosing and know the requirement of the um, requirements for the foreign trained nurse you and me are foreign trained nurse we are trained from outside the america so you need to be aware of those uh, those requirements and the other thing is the the last thing is you ask yourself how do you want to come here which means do you have to, do you want to use to come to this place you can come through agencies agents are they are our saviors most of us they serve most of the international nurses when you talk of international nurses is me and you nurses are trained outside america so um there are agencies there are so many right now and they are very open they are recruiting nurses from all over africa philippines or jamaica from outside kenya i mean from outside america and you can also do direct hire by yourself where you start the NCLEX, do everything on your own it's very possible and it's easy if you have cash we just use agencies because maybe we don't have enough uh, money to do for ourselves but if you can you can do it privately go do your NCLEX, go do your IELTS, and then come to the online and look for this direct hire there are those agencies that are, they, they recruit uh, already nurses who already have their licenses so they you find them online and then they'll um, they'll attach you to one of the hospitals in this country in america and you get your employment that way or you can still do it privately do your NCLEX, do your IELTS and then you look for hospitals you go online look for hospitals by yourself maybe where i work is billings clinic hospital go to their website and then you see they are employing apply there and they send you the um, employment letter so you apply the visa using that employment letter and you come here start working okay so those are the the ways uh the three ways you can use agencies like the avant med pro uh, um or grady inter inter what is it called yeah there are so many of them and you can use direct hire uh companies they're also called agencies or companies you finish everything do NCLEX, do IELTS, and then look for them online they are uh, take you and attach you to a hospital or uh, they look for a hospital in america for you and then they attach you there you get employment or you can do it on your own do the IELTS, do the NCLEX, go online go to those hostels you know um online go to their website they, they are always employing hostels in america are always employing nurses so you get a um, you apply for the, your position and then they'll send you a employment letter use it to apply for your visa and with no time you'll be here those are the three or you can have if you have a relative here you can you can use a visiting visa you can send you a visiting letter so you apply for your visa come here you should be having your NCLEX so when you come here 
you just apply for a hostel and start working that hostel can now start working on your green card can help you get a green card so guys those are some of the ways you can use to to come here as a international nurse that is um the a nurse who was educated outside america uh, i just encourage you all of you who have not started the process to start it is it is uh, you can't compare this place to uh, back to back uh, in our countries so guys um apply in massively those who are um those who are still in in school start uh, targeting this process those who have graduated look for these uh, requirements go to these private hostels work yourself and get the experience for you to come here so guys thank you so much for listening to me and i hope you uh, those who have not um those who have not yet uh what subscribed to my youtube can channel please do continue subscribing continue liking when you like my content get to populate on youtube so continue liking continue leaving up comments and come to facebook in case you have any questions the messenger uh, we, we will chat there in the messenger so guys see you next in my next video i'm going to answer some of the common questions that have popped up in my messenger some of them have not been able to apply so i'm going to talk about them uh, i'll not talk about the private ones just the common common questions so See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.